When we talk about mental systems in orienteering, we're talking about the set of rules that you might follow to help navigate yourself from one control to another. So it's not about specific techniques that you might use, but it's about the mental process that keeps you on task, that keeps you doing the techniques that you might learn elsewhere. Some of these take the form of an acronym. You might have heard of RACE or CARE. Now that acronym is like a little checklist just to help you stay on, on task. So with RACE or CARE, the C is the control, so the control point, exactly what your control is on. A stands for the attack point, R stands for root choice, and E stands for exit direction. And just ticking off these four points on each leg helps to make sure that you've done all the things that you need to do to get the control safely. And another one that you might hear is Darcy, and the, it's, it's got the same ARC as before, but it's got D, difficulty. So at the, the first thing you should do is assess the difficulty of the leg. And sometimes when you, if you assess the difficulty of the leg first, you might see that it's so easy that you just need to smash it along the track and run as fast as possible. Or you might see that it's a really technical leg and there's a big chance of making a big mistake. So you need to really focus on firstly the A, so what's the attack point, and then what's the root choice that's going to get you to the attack point, and then the E is the exit direction, uh, which you can think of last. Another one you might have heard of is DSK. D stands for direction, and the S stands for simplification. So direction is mainly compass. Simplification is uh, just the key features that you're going to need. And I think this is a more of a one for, for red level orienteering. And then the K is know where you're going. So what, what are you about to see next, and in which direction is it going to be? And just a reminder to keep looking forward into the drain and thinking about your future. So there's some mental systems that you might have heard of and you can really come up with, with your own, whatever works for you and whatever I think addresses the problems that you have uh, orienteering. You might notice that your major problems are um, not simplifying enough and getting lost in the detail or simplifying too much or maybe you get distracted. And so having a little mental process that works for you and addresses your strengths and weaknesses is really important. So ask around, see what kind of processes other people are using and talk to a coach about what processes uh, they use to help keep their navigation on task.